Now, if you want to play this particular song, you got to think Tom Bresh, of course, but more Chet Atkins in the thumb articulation. And that articulation is this. You got your bass notes going, but you also had a boom, tick, 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 one tick after. Not a chord strum, but a, that's very Chet-like. He just did a downbeat, didn't mess with the whole chord. So, Chet always told me, if you can find yourself an open string, use it. That was a, a right from Chet's mouth. So, this starts out, it's in the key of A, really simple. And uh, I start up here with a G ninth. Very simple. It's up on the 10th fret, of course. And it, down a fret. Down to an E ninth. And that's all there is to it. Now you can play. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's like the intro, and then it goes. I'm just doing a, a I guess that'd be a hammer on. I pull, you'll find that I pull two strings a lot. Just uh, usually because it's right there in the chord and it's harmony, and that's just something I do. For whenever I play, I just always seem to do that. You don't have to do it, but it's cool if you do. So you're going up on the fourth fret. Then we got A major seventh starting it out. Simple so far, right? So that's really simple, but it's A sixth. That's all there is to that. E seventh, then. That's a little stretch there. It's, you could do it like that, but I didn't do it. I didn't write it that way. So yeah. See? Let those two ring out because it's chromatic and it just sounds good. Like, right, let's see. I got to do this there. Slide up there to that A6 again. The open E. A. A6, then the open E again. Now, I don't use bar chords as a rule. I use my thumb because I'm just used to using my thumb on everything. You can use the C sharp minor. But I don't. I do it this way. It's all the same chord. Same chord. Now the C sharp minor again, or however you want to do it. Down a half fret, or a full one fret, a half tone. <laughs> Seventh, then again. Now you're into this again. Now we're going to go up the neck here to this chord. It's an A seventh. You put your uh, second finger on this. I used to be D flat, but since I'm in A, it would be a, a C sharp. That's just a an open chord. That's a pretty chord all by itself. Just you have to use one finger. But 
Here's the melody. So. That's all I'm doing there. These two fingers, this here, or I'm sorry, this here, and on the B string at the 12th fret. And watch what this hand's doing. I'll go into this more when it's necessary. But. Now you add this first finger, which is makes this an augmented. And then a D, a uh, major seventh, with your thumb on that D here on the 10th fret. Now here's something that, um, that I just, I learned, oh, I don't know, four or five years ago. Tommy Emanuel, my buddy, said he had just found this out, and neither one of us knew this. It's a Chet trick. Because usually we go up here and go like. It just doesn't sound right doing that, but it's a D note. And I don't know why we didn't think of this or why Chet never told us, when we, but leave that A string open so it's. You don't have to put that finger down. So it's. This is just a, a D up here, but I use my thumb. So that little section goes like this. Now, leading up to this, now this is a B minor seventh. melody and just a big old bar right there however you'd like to articulate that those are the notes we played in a number of different fashions but uh, That's the way I do it, a little trill on there. Slide it on down. Now there's that open string again. Thank you, Chet. Just running down that good old E7. Here's the fun part. You go up to the seventh fret, you're on like an A with these two notes, that's all that matters. Keep that A going, then you go up here. So that little section plays like this. Uh, real simple, and that's how that goes. And then. I do like a little drum sort of a roll that's percussive. Or you can just go like this if you want. Do it your way, but this is what I do. Do, 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 a little roll. So. Do, 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 do. Just an E7, that B flat note in there. And that C sharp minor again, A flat. Well, actually, you're into that. Now, the next time you get to this, up to the fifth fret. a G chord there. But I just use this bass note. So my drum lick. <laughs> E7. That E flat note. 
This is just uh, E seventh. This will be an E seventh, but I'm moving the fingers this way so I can get that high note on there. A minor seven. That's a, just a D seventh playing old up on the fifth fret. And remember that open A string. Oops. Then we're at the beginning. It's fun to play, it's really simple. I do a little tag. Nothing to it. 